In this video, we will see assertions in testing framework. In testing framework, assertions are used to tell whether the test case is passed or failed. Now see, these are the statements that we use for the assertion in testing framework. Now see, what is the meaning of this? Assert is class. It is provided by the testing framework. Assert is class. Then assert equals assert true, assert false all these are the methods of assert class now see what are the parameters that we are passing see when we are calling method assert equals and when we are passing these two parameters when both the parameters are string what is the meaning of this see we are expecting this string and this is the actual string that we got see uh, for example uh, when uh, we are checking title of any web page okay so this is the title of web page that we got okay so when you call get title method so we get the actual title right and this title that we are expecting if both are matching that means our test is passed otherwise it is failed right so in this way we can use this assert equals method so see this is the actual string right and this is the expected string both should get match if both are match then test is passed otherwise it is failed now see second so same method these two parameters also same only one extra parameter is added here this third parameter is assertion error message now see when we are not mentioning any message so see in first case we have not mentioned any message right so some default message will be given and here we are mentioning our own assertion error message now see third so here see in first and two we have taken two parameters as a string right here two parameters are the boolean values boolean value in the sense it can be true or false so see if both are true then test is passed if both are false then again test is passed if it is true false test is failed if it is false true test is failed all right so this is expected value and this is the actual value that we got okay and we are comparing this two value so boolean value means true and false now see in fourth fourth case again we have the boolean values boolean actual value boolean expected value and this is string message so just similar to the second statement right this is the message of assertion error when we are not mentioning this third parameter here so by default some default message will be given here we are mentioning our own message now see in fifth one it is accepting only one parameter right it is accepting only one parameter now see what is the meaning of this see it is assert true so this true means this is expected value see this is the actual value and this is the expected value actual value is true our expected value is true then our uh, test case is passed if this actual value is false and our expected value is true so in that case test case is failed now see here we are adding message right so this is assertion error message just similar to this statement 4 and 2 now see here see in uh, fifth statement we have seen assert true right this is assert false method now see here this is expected value we are expecting false value see uh, and this is actual value right if actual value is true and this is expected value is false so true and false so our test case is failed if actual value is false and our expected value is also false then our test case is passed now same thing but we are adding our assertion error message now see so these assertion statements we are adding in our code now see we will see our actual code so see here i have written program 1.java it has class program 1 it has 8 test see test 1 test 2 test 3 test 4 test 5 test 6 test 7 test 8 and in every function i have added this statement okay so 8 statements are there so here i have written 8 functions or 8 methods now see here i have written test in the xml file so here i have mentioned this program one class from this my test package now see here so see uh, here we have seen this is the actual value and this is the expected value right so expected value and actual value so see uh, string see we are expecting comreo but actual value is para okay just for example i have taken here we are expecting comreo string but we got para okay so in that case it is false right 
our test case is failed right now see we will run it so see this is console so it is showing uh, how many test cases are passed and failed okay and here see uh, this is console tab right this is console tab and beside this there is one more tab results of running suit okay results of running suit here it is written now see i am clicking on this tab see here see there are sub tabs all tests so all tests it is showing now see it is showing cross see here it is showing cross meaning of cross is test is failed if it is tick then meaning of that is test is passed now see here it is showing fail state so see uh, fail state so only fail state it will show now see when i click here so here on right hand side it is showing the message client dot assertion error expected comreo see expected comreo but found parag so we are expecting this comreo but got parag same message it is written here this is assertion error message expected comreo but found parag okay so test one this is a failed test right now see here if i mention parag okay parag so now see both are matching right so in that case our test case is passed see again i am running code now see this is passes right the test case is passed and other cases are failed see i am clicking on this tab results of running suit now see if i click on this all test so here you can see test one it is tick there is tick mark and for other it is a cross mark right tick mark in the sense it is passed and cross mark means these tests are failed now see i am clicking on this fail test see there is sub tab fail test so when i click on that so see test one is passed that's why it is not showing test one here because only uh, fail tests are here but here it is showing when i click on all tests so test one it is showing tick there is tick here that means it is passed others are failed because there is cross mark right and here is a tick mark that means it is passed now see we will check another one one more thing if i remove this package okay so now it is showing red line right so when i take cursor over here so it is showing uh, you have to import package for this but it is showing three options right import assert from this import assert from this package import assert from this another package in that situation keep in mind always we have to import assert from this package org dot test inch because see we are using assertion from the test inch framework right so we have to import assert class from the org dot test inch package okay so i have to click on this now see next one so same thing only we are showing the message right assertion error message so see uh, we are expecting comreo but we got parag okay so our test case is failed right now that will be the assertion message see we will run our code now see so we will click on this results of running suit now see so our test 2 so see it is showing see test 2 is cross right that means it is failed right now when i click on this so see here it is showing test 2 check title test 2 check title right this message it is showing test 2 check title test 2 check title this assertion error message it is showing and expected comreo but found para okay so that default message along with this our assertion error message it is showing okay and see uh, if i click on fail state so test 2 is failed right that's why it is showing test 2 is failed so all fail states it will show here now see third one uh, here we are passing boolean value see here we have passed strings right these are the string here we are passing boolean value now see true false so both are not matching this is expected and this is actual one right so both are not matching that's why can uh, test is failed see here when i click on this results on running suit so see fail state if i click so the uh, test 3 is failed that's why there is a cross mark it is showing as a failed test now see if i make it true if i make it true so see now see results of running suit 
all taste and here see taste 3 so taste 3 there is a tick mark right that means this taste is passed now see fourth one same thing assert equals but we are showing our own assertion error message just like here here we have shown our own error message right so same thing we are doing here so again same thing right if true false that means test is failed if it is false true again test is failed both are true test is passed if both are false so again test is passed now see test 5 so see here expected value is true but actual value is false right expect we are expecting true but what we got false test case is failed right if here if i mention this true if i mention this true what is the meaning of this we are expecting true and I also we got true that's like the test case is passed now see so same thing but we are showing our own assertion error message now see here we are expecting false but what we got true so here in this case our test case is failed if here it is false then see we are expecting false and actual value is false that's why test case is passed now see same thing but we are showing our own assertion message so in this way we can use assertion in testing the framework in next video we will see real time example there we will use testing framework also we will use selenium code and we will see how the assertions are actually used so friends i hope you like this video if is yes, then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you